Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. We're playing the Synthetic Dawn expansion, and we are the Quillbot Pacifists. We're going to pacify the rest of the galaxy by eliminating all independent sentient or sapient life, I suppose I should say. Sentient means you, like, have senses. Sapient is the thing for actual, like, thinking processes. So yeah, it's the sapience that concerns us. Can't allow that to happen. Swirling shadows. Oh, this is this thing in the, uh, the gas composition was weird. Immense ragged planes of shadows drift across Eaton Stella Six's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer, autonomous drone 44, is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna and what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. But it's worth plus six society research. We haven't hooked up any of the extra research bits yet. We're just getting our base economy started, uh, but that will be next. As soon as Balawar is a proper colony, we're going to be golden in terms of uh, in terms of money income. Earth is building. It is getting another population unit. And we're also clearing blockers over here. That's actually what the building is here. It's the population blockers in the queue. Our combat swarm over here. It's finished checking everything out. Not a single habitable planet down here. Wow. Well, all right, then. Let's go to Sirius. Because it's a habitable planet um, that we're going to want to colonize, I will want to go and put a warp gate in here, a wormhole gate. It's not going to reach very far because we've already got one in Seoul. But again, I like to have one in every one of my personal home systems. They are... Uh, they're not that expensive, and it makes much easier to defend because you can always jump directly to that system. And I find that to be a really, really important thing. All right, Earth is done. We got the population unit and everything right over here. You will clearly want a science lab. I realize that'll send us more negative. That's okay. And we're going to start a pop over here because we've got empty place. Build a quill bot. That's going to be okay. I'm not going to do overdo it any more than that with the construction right now. Construction complete. Because we're fine. Our construction ship over here is done. Yeah, let me send you to Sirius. And let me go ahead and build a wormhole station over there. System survey. It'll give us a little bit more reach, and we'll see what's what. This science ship is completely done. So I'm going to have it check out this quasar here. And then actually, probably this one, this... I don't know what that is. Is that a black hole? No, it's... Oh, that's a neutron star. What's this one? Orthama. Pulsar. Okay. Because um, they tend to have good science right on the star themselves, and so we can go there and build a frontier outpost and increase our radius and then build more and more things all over the place. We'll see how that goes. I mean, we've expanded our reach a lot. That's what you do with the wormholes, is you can get surprisingly far, surprisingly fast. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. 10% risk. Sure, it's fine. Our tech rate's still not fantastic, because we haven't really upgraded too much, and we haven't built the extra science labs, but that's going to come soon. Construction ship is done there, so our combat swarm, we're going to send out only one more system. Oh, and that one there, which is actually hard to see. Okay, two more systems then have been added to our reach. So we'll see how that goes. So this construction ship, um, yeah, I'm going to come over here. I'm actually going to go ahead and build those research stations. So our economy is improving and will improve as soon as Ball War is done as well. We do have a planet here. Size 18 is not too shabby. Etic Monolithic. Ethan Stella, this is like the second big thing going on over here, is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines deftly chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. There's some engineering tech for us. All right, lovely. Thank you. Yeah, 18's probably going to be good, and it'll expand our reach over here. Although we might want to pick up Sirius first on the basis that it's big. Like, there's always a couple of different things with your colonization. One, it expands your borders. Two, it might capture some system with a lot of good resources in it. And three, there's just like, you aim for the best actual planet for its own purposes. <sighs> Beta aliens. 442. Bernard Starr? No, that's, that's got to be more critters. I'm assuming. I don't know. We'll see. So I'll move my combat swarm back to Seoul. A weak signal from the surface of the planet. Some sort of tracking beacon. Yeah, let's research that. 
technological acquisition. 5% more research speed. Nice. Uh, we don't need assist research now. Our um, our science ships are going to be super busy. Solar panel network is a great way to make some extra money. Um, point defense, we can wait. Physics lab, it, it's nice to get more labs, but we don't have to rush into that. Let's get the solar panel network. It'll help with our economy some more. Very much appreciated. Uh, we do actually have enough to do another colony. Um, or another colony ship. You know what? I think we'll just, we'll go for it right away. Uh, the question is, where? The next big planet is Sirius. And we can actually get two planets here without increasing our, um, while still having a lot of controlled systems. Which, I mean, it's more micro, but, you know, it's probably better off than sectors. I think we've got to go to Sirius. I'm super serious, you guys. Um... I think here's fine. And I don't know. There's no built-in help. Um, hang on. Stellaris Wiki Colony Capital. What do I? Um, capital. Colony Capital. Uh, capital provides energy and increases governing ethics attraction because it used to be it used to be food and minerals so now it's energy and it provides an adjacency bonus to food minerals and energy okay but not science okay so we want to settle on either a blank spot or more ideally something with energy and we don't care about food so we're looking for energy and mineral adjacency It's there's no real place as far as I can tell that takes advantage of super adjacency stuff. We'll just go ahead and land there. That's gonna be fine. Serious Prime. Okay. At least I finally looked it up to actually completely confirm what the heck it's supposed to do. Uh, so we're doing that, and yeah, we'll start colonizing over there. Let's spend some material. That's okay. This science ship is now idle. You're checking that out. So, oh yes, we were talking about maybe doing some Frontier Outposts. We shouldn't need one here, actually, because we've got a world that's being explored. Um, that might be really good. I actually want to check out these two systems here. Because that might influence what we decide to do. This is a big cluster. If we can get this within our area of influence, that'll be quite good. Um, we could potentially build a Frontier Outpost here, and it might reach everywhere. We'll see. Ancient Survey Marker. Oh, the Short Range Transmitter, right. A located on the surface of Tiersonia 1. It appears to be an Ancient Survey Marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. Ooh, plus four. Nice. The miners it was meant for evidently never arrived, as the deposit is still here. Ah, the Space Cloud. The cows. Hunting them would be a net loss anyway. Well. Research Option Gain. Frequency Tuning. Docile creatures, capable of accessing some lower dimension of subspace, they roam from system to system with remarkable ease. They graze on gases common to the upper layers of as many of many gas giants. Highly unlikely to say the least that this is their only food source, but their intake of undernutrients has to be observed. They will not attack unless provoked, they can be safely ignored. Well, I guess. At least it flags them as neutral instead of hostile, and there's less of a problem with people having to run away or anything like that. Construction ship, you finished all the science, you finished this. I think you've built everything that you can build at this time. I'm going to go over here, get you to build me a wormhole station out there. Because we might colonize that, and again, it'll give us more access to more stuff. Coil gun is unlocked. We're not going to upgrade our ships yet, I don't think. Armor, which you do have a discount for. Machine template system. There we go. Machine modification points and unlocks robo modding. Ah, uh, specialized mechanical pops. Very sexy. On the other hand, the next level mining network is pretty good, too. But since this guy has an expertise in materials, I will actually get the, the armor here. Because if we do determine that we need to fight sooner rather than later, we will need that. I'm surprised I haven't met any sentient races yet. Minerals. Cheaper building cost. Hey, that's pretty handy dandy, actually. And this science ship is now idle. Um, that's our... Right, that's our... our um, our construction ship. We're just going to go ahead and fly out here and scan this system so that we can determine maybe if we want to colonize it. Still losing money right now, but that's going to change. We are not building any pops right now. Let's go... I'm going to clear all these blockers. It takes actually a fair amount of energy, which we're a little hurting for right now, but... I, I think we'll be okay! 
My voice is going to go up a little higher. Oh, I've got to scan this system here. Because that's going to be within range of Alawar. Network junction is not quite expensive, but does give us the unity. We will be looking to build those soon. There's our frequency tuning. Unlocks the energy siphon weapon. I do want the border range. Yeah, let's... Seriously, though. Ah, here we are. Spark of Genius, 10% research speed. That's what I want. We're going to swap you out. You're going to be way more handy. Um, let's get the border range. Because it might help us bring more systems and be able to to work that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm quite keen to do that. We're going to start building some military ships soon, but apparently not yet. We are total pacifists. Apparently. Something. Let's go out here and poke at more systems. I mean, maybe I don't want to poke at systems. Maybe it's just going to, like, increase our danger quotient, but... I want to see if I can find all the big badass planets as quickly as possible. So this construction ship, I'm going to move you into this system here in preparation for when we scan it. Construction complete. Anomalous surface variable detected. Uh, large impact crater. Sure, 10% chance. That's not too shabby. Let's go and do it. Still have some intense stuff over here. What's our level? Level 3, level 3 still. Okay. So we'll come back to it. Whoa! Oh, ancient mi mining drones. Uh, you are set to passive. Okay, so yeah, you're not, you're not looking for combat, which is fine. So you'll just pop out when you get a chance. Oh, we did fail. That's okay. It's going to happen. I mean, again, 10% of the time. We're trying to... We could probably brought it down to 5%, but that's okay. Ooh, gamma aliens. Yep, let's go and investigate those right away. 821. Probably not another real species still. What's this planet? Size 13, and it's being guarded by a drone, so not a priority. Size 18 is quite nice. I don't know if those that's the same fleet, or if they're tracking us, or what's going on. Still waiting. We need a science ship over there. Um, You know what? Do we go in Frontier Outpost this? Or one of the center ones? Because there's some sweet, sweet stuff over there. Just build another wormhole station. Just want to keep you busy. Well, although, you know what? With my money situation... Well, it's because we've got two colonies going on right now. An Ether Drake! Creature observed in the Traver system is unlike anything the first combat swarms previously encountered. Highly aggressive and with destructive capabilities match, it guards a planetoid that initial scans indicate is exceptionally resource rich. Ominous. Yeah, GTFO, man. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Uh, did we get caught? Oh, schnoots. Wow! Instant obliteration! Okay. Oh, you got the bulldozer trait. That's probably about clearing tile blockers, which is nice. You just cleared your last one over here, which is fine. So, since we don't need food, I'm going to build a pop on the food. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a power plant there, because we still need... Yeah, War Factory, yeah. Because uh, we still are a little desperate on energy. So we're going to get you going on there. Um, although I might want to network node later on. Oh, here we go. Hold on. My bad. Uh, cancel. I forgot that we got you here. Build. Power plant. You. Um, yeah, build the mining node. I mean, again, money is a little tight, but we'll get there soon. It's going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay, probably. Space amoebas. Uh, we can do remote study, or we can go and blow them up. We're going to blow them up, because, you know, just in case they turn out to be sentient at some point in the future. See, I don't even trust those space cows. The Breglar system is 5% risk of failure. Debris. Potentially remnants of fleet combat. Ooh. All right. And the construction ship is done. Okay, now, though, we've got Sirius has been settled. We've got all that energy we can go and start mining. So rush that, please. Okay, that was the signs of battle over here. Oh, a special project. Mount Graveyard Expedition. Wrecked ships. Ah, a bunch of smashed ships. Yeah, we'll check that out. Uh, ancient Precursor Civilization in the Asteroid. We'll scan that. So, you. 
research project, and then shift click survey the rest of the system. Let's see what we can figure out. So Battle War Prime almost popped. Luckily, our mineral income's pretty good. We'll be able to spam our population, and the energy credits will fix better. That's the Ute Asteroid Dwelling. That was the precursor thing over here. Uh, the asteroid appears to have been served as the home of a single Ute individual. Deep scans show a series of connected caves in the asteroid's interior that follows a pattern similar to the room seen in ancient Ute dwellings that have been discovered elsewhere. To learn more, we will have to dispatch an away team to investigate the cave system. So we get a special project. Sure, let's... Oh, we need level 5 skill. Alright. We'll get back to it then, that's fine. Are these some space cows? Yeah. Space whales. Space whales, space cows, same difference, right? Exactly. Planetary surface settlement established. Boom. Excellent. Welcome to Balawar. Uh, not that one. Balawar, over here. With its cheaper production costs. So we only have one pop right now, but our economy has already been fixed, which is lovely. Uh, I'm actually going to move the pop to here because it's an even better site. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a pop there. Um, I'm going to queue up a second one to build there. That's going to be fine. Earth is building buildings and pops. Oh, you can level up to the next level power plant. Please do. And we have an idle science ship. Now, level four, level three, 10% chance. Let's go ahead and do that. Please and thank you. We've been leaving it for a bit, which is fine. Special project complete. So that was the special project on Breglar. Finished expedition and returned. Thankfully, this starship graveyard and surface proved to be a technological treasure trove. Studying the remains of these vessels has advanced our research in certain fields by several years, and there are yet things to be discovered. Permanent science outposts on the in orbit would be a great boon to our starship engineering effort. So, yeah, we get a bunch of XP, we get a bunch of direct research, and we can research here faster, sooner. Um, almost certainly we're going to want to expand to this planet, because it's going to expand our reach a fair bit. And well, it's not the greatest system ever, to be honest, but there's a lot of things within its radius. Um, I need to go and get that system scanned because we can actually construct there. Construction complete. I'm going to get the construction ship to join in over there as well. Krathar is almost within our borders, and it should get there soon, especially with the 20% border tech, which we are still researching, but it'll get there. All right. Tons of minerals. We could build another min another colony ship. Actually, our money's not too bad. We're making money while still doing a colonization. We'll wait a little bit for more to be banked, but yeah. While conducting surface scans of Alpha Centauri 5A, science officer, autonomous drone 46, and the crew of the QBS seeker vessel discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock car covered in alien writing. They've not detected any other signs of alien activity on the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We've prepared a special project to translate the text. So many pro special projects over and over. Can you do this one? Yeah, okay, good. Thank you. Technological acquisition successful. Solar panel network. Good. Yeah, then we'll definitely make good money. Um, autonomous drone 23. First of all, let's check to see. Ah, beautiful. Oh, that's particles. I was misinterpreting the spark of genius icon. Uh, and yeah, you're just sitting idle, which is fine. Um, okay, you can research whatever then. <sighs> Fusion reactor. More ship power, more good. These combat rolls are a huge boost overall. We might want to go and get the colony fabrication drones. There's the automatic exploration, which is going to be really nice to pick up. But I think I need to reduce the cost of colonization because we're going to do a little bit more. The cost and the speed because we're going to do a bit of that in a, in a moment here. So maybe we'll wait until that gets done and then we'll expand our colonization efforts. I will build here... I'm going to build here just an uplink node. I'm effectively counting this food as not being worth anything. We can't even build farms. Um, so I'm going to do that. And that's going to be A-OK. -okay. And I will queue up another population. Keep you going. And here you've got your pops. Uh, do you not actually have a building going on here? Get a power plant. And we don't have to queue up another population or anything. Uh, maybe I will build a spaceport now, though. I was going to say that'll cost us money, but it won't because we've got our solar panel tech. So it'll help offset that. Okay, good. Cork, the Command Core Synaptic Nexus has leveled up. Yeah!
construction ship. Well, you can start building the research station over here. There's still more to check out, but we can get you started on things. That's going to be okay. Scientist has leveled up. Scientists level up. I think those are actual scientists as opposed to explorers. We've got our armor material. Nice. We could go and get the extra level armor right away. Again, it's in your area. And at some point, we need to level up our spaceports. Otherwise, we're just going to be building corvettes nonstop. But let's keep it taking advantage of your personal skill for now until we, we find a replacement. I mean, if I just keep them on long enough when they level up enough, then I'll be like, well, I'm going to keep you anyway because the level gives you a big boost to tech. Uh, oh, we deciphered the murals, low-tech library, uh, collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we have yet to consider. There's enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue to tr the translation efforts. We get XP on our scientists, and we get a good research possibility here within the borders of our existing space. All right, you are... Oh, you're level four now. Now, they're both level four. They're both the same. All right. Research this level 4 anomaly, please and thank you. I don't think we have any other anomalies on the go right now. In terms of spots to check out, we might want to scoot around the area of Breglar because we're probably going to colonize it. Survey. Oh, we actually never visited these guys. I think I, I didn't see them before. So uh, we'll do that rather than send our military. Well, we don't have a military anymore, so yeah. Oh, that was probably it. We probably had it queued when my military ships were destroyed and therefore can't do anything. We're not actually building anything over here, which, oh, we can upgrade the network junction. Let's do that. And then we'll queue up a science lab over here. Construction ship is idle. Oh, go down to Alpha Centauri and build this awesome research lab. Thank you. Hard shoulder. There's a ship idling on the planes of Sirius 3, and its sensors reacting. Oh, that's the level 4 anomaly. Uh, its sensors reacting to the seeker vessel in orbit around the planet. The seeker vessel's crew have been unable to confirm exactly when the craft was abandoned, for it is abandoned, or who left it there and where they are now. According to Science Officer Autonomous Drone 46, remote activate, remotely activating the lightly armed ship would be trivial, should we wish to add it to our fleets. We gain a Corvette class ship. Okay, that was that was a level 4 anomaly, I guess. I don't know. It's fine. Well, let's keep uh, surveying. Let's see if we can get to level 5 so we can... See. Oh, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? That might be within our borders. It's not quite, but it might be soon. You know what? Let's do these, because they are potentially going to be within our borders soon. Uh, we'll probably get to Rantor soon. We'll have to clear that out, though. Battle of War Prime. It's about to get that pop. I think that's that pop here. So we don't actually have to keep our next building yet, so... System survey. No rush there. More system surveys complete. Decent tiles over here. Hey, it's my favorite song! The one that sounds like it's from Interstellar. Alright, alright, alright. I do enjoy that movie. Right, the asteroid dwelling. I'll have to come back to you. Uh, level 3 anomaly, 5% risk. A scan. Inconsistent sensor readings. Almost as if the planet itself was a constant state of upheaval. Let's go out and do research it. Grease lightning? Seriously? Is that what this ship is called? Oh, man. That's really funny. Oh, we could apply some governors here. We should absolutely do that to our new planets. Wait. Uh, what? Ruling from planet Earth. Core sector governor. Okay, I remember them talking about doing some sort of change for the governors. Huh. So you need fewer of them. So I guess whatever's on your capital is shared across all your other sub planets within your, your personal sector. Well, that's cool. Let's go ahead and get the solar panel network. Still not going to rush to building ships right now, so if I can avoid it. But, I think we can go and build our next planet. And I really think I want to expand this way. Oh, more traditions. Machine leaders last longer. Buildings build faster. Less unrest. More research alternatives. We 
we could we may actually want to boost our oh robot build speed there we go Not, yeah so we can build robots faster grimacing the very geological structure of mizar 2d is indeed in flux driven by what science officer autonomous drone 44 assures us is a tectonic process as fascinating as it is esoteric what is of more interest to the quillbot pacifists is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless chaotic self-transformation in short a near instantaneous or near instant stabilization of planet into something slightly not entirely more habitable so that's 11d it's this one over here it's currently barren so it can't be inhabited autonomous drone 44 estimates that an additional 200 energy credits will be needed to power a thorough mapping of the planetary activity and determine the validity of what science officers determined a surgical terraforming strike actual terraforming lies beyond our grasp of the presence so this is an opportunity just study it or have a 50-50 chance to stabilize it into something. The thing is, we actually don't know if there's anything around here. Where is Mizar? It'll probably fall within our borders from Breglar. I think I just want a plus six physics research thing for now. I think I'm going to be okay with that. I don't know. For all I know, the other event is like insanely amazing. But, you know, I'm not going to spoil myself on the wiki. It's okay. All right, you are done, and yeah, this is not within our radius. This is, though, so let's build uh, mining stations first. We'll do the science afterwards. Uh, Earth finished its surface queue. All right, you've got that. Everyone's working a building. Yes, indeed. And we've got more pops. I'm going to go ahead and Construction. queue up the last pops over here as well. And here we're going to build the war factory. And here we'll probably end up building another basic science lab, although it wouldn't surprise me if there was like a different type of building we're going to want to put here later. But let's go ahead and queue it up. So Earth is done. Mizar is done. We've got some more queued stuff queued up, so that's going to be okay. Sirius is nearly done as well. And we are waiting on the tech for the development speed and influence cost, I think. We could pre-build a colony ship, although I don't think there's much point in doing that. 5% risk, what is this? Colossal Impact Crater. Yeah, it's only level 1 anomaly, but let's do it. It's another one of your level 5 yet, huh? Nope. About a quarter of the way through the leveling. Well, I guess this is a fine time to put in another little break. Everything seems to be going pretty well still. Oh, I could send Grease Lightning out to check out these little systems here. That's not actually a system. Forgot. We got a we got another ship and we've got a worm uh, wormhole station over here. So yeah, you can check out all these things and see. Man, that's a lot of minerals and a fairly inhabitable planet. What's the deal with the crater? Warp impact. Residual subspace echoes near the crash site. I would get a little bit of physics research. Not much. Well, it's actually not too shabby. It's uh, six months worth of research. It's a thing. What are you? Space amoeba hunters. Space-born organics. <sighs> Maybe it's time to build up a fleet. Well, we'll put a cut in here, and we'll consider that next time. Thanks for watching. See you then.